So our first step when customizing our show it theme is we want to add our own brand fonts and brand colors to our template. So what I'm going to do here is click on this button here, design settings. And here you can see you've got your color palette, you've got your uh, font settings. And if you go to fonts, you can check, you can, uh, you can choose the ones you want to add and search for them and use Google fonts or you can upload your own as well. So I'm just going to add the ones that I have chosen previously so I'm not here searching for days. So I'm going to go in here and I want to add railway which you'll see a preview of it come up here. So if you are a little bit lost you can just go like this, scroll through a few and see what ones you like but that takes a while I just go to fonts.google.com and look through them all. Um, so I want that one for my body not ranchers, railway. Um, I'm going to go for Lancelot for some headings and I'm also going to go for... Oh no! This one for just to add a bit of script into it because this template doesn't have script so we're going to just prove that you can add it to anything. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to remove the ones I'm not going to use. So watch out when you remove them because sometimes the order changes a bit so you might accidentally delete one and once you've done that I like to hit save and then go back into it otherwise sometimes it doesn't pull them through so I then go site settings and I can drop down on all of these and I can add my fonts in so for example title I can choose a font let's go with this one oh lovely uh, I'm then going to align it so whenever I pull a new block it's centered. Okay, perfect. And I want to do that for the mobile version as well. And you can change the size of it. So I can change this just down a little bit. The same with that. And then I'm just going to click here to remove it. You can also choose the standard color it comes through. So heading, I'm going to go for my script here. Now you'll see it looks a bit messy. That's because I have everything to pull through is uppercase. So if I change this to normal, you'll see it then just, it does change to normal. There we go. Subheading, let's put this one in a, a bit. Might be a bit crazy for a subheading all in capitals, but we're going to see if we can make it work. And then our body font. There we go. I'm going to take that down a bit. 16 might be a bit big for a body font for a mobile. There we go. I've got it set to justify here and center here. So that should be good. Now I'm going to add in my colors. So I've got these noted down as well because again I don't want to be playing with this for ages. Okay. Now when we do this, our template is going to go a little bit haywire, but that's only because we've pulled things through, added in different colors, and it's just all going to be a little bit messy until we get everything kind of optimized for our new colors. I'm going to change this to white because it's a slight off-white. There we go. So I'm just going to use four colors. You have the option to add eight colors in. That might be a bit wild though, so I'm just going to go for four and I'll probably only use about two or three of them. So we hit save and we'll see, we'll see we've already started to go a little bit crazy. So our menu colors change, the spacing and the titles all wrong. Um, this is like crazy capitals down here, but not here. Like, ugh, mad. It's just, yes. So what we're going to do here is we're, um, yes, okay, so I've decided instantly just seeing this and I can see this all in capitals. I don't want my subheading to be all in capitals. I would actually like it to be entirely lowercase. There we go. Yes, I much prefer that. And we save it. There we go. So already it's looking a little bit better. You might just want to go in and make a few tweaks when that happens. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and I'm just going to fix um, these little bits. So for example, if I click on this and I click on my title, you'll see my text properties come up here and text styles. I'm just going to put the spacing down to zero. And you'll see it just shows up perfectly normal there. It's just because the spacing is off a bit. There we go. And already we fixed that. So if you click on the canvas section, you can click this, the back to home page, and it will take you right back to where you were. And already we have that sorted. Things like this, 
we just need to click on it and change from uppercase to normal and already we're sorted. Um, this section here, this is changed to white because we changed the color on number six so you can't see it. If you hover over it you can see it so if you click it you can change the color so we can make it whatever we want but I'm going to make it this kind of off purpley color there. So you may just need a few tweaks like that to go through once you do change your styles, your colors, things like that. But don't panic when you see it going crazy because it's an easy fix.